We start in Huntsville where we have new details about a former Madison County deputy arrested and charged with tampering with narcotics evidence. Alex Huddleston is charged with a dozen crimes, including cocaine possession and theft. WAFF 48's Daquan Lee is live outside of the Madison County Courthouse. He's been looking into Huddleston's time as a deputy. Daquan Huddleston is now a former narcotics investigator, so prosecutors worry his arrest could impact cases he's worked on. Yeah, Margo, that's exactly what the Madison County District Attorney's Office is doing right now. They told me they plan on prosecuting his case while they comb through cases that Huddleton may have been involved in and could get thrown out as a result. Alex Huddleston was arrested nearly two weeks ago, accused of tampering with drug evidence. He served on the department for eight years and at the time was working as a narcotics investigator, so handling drugs was a regular part of the job. Now he's charged with 10 counts of tampering with evidence and two counts of drug possession. Nobody likes to prosecute law enforcement. Nobody in this business does, but sometimes it's necessary. And in a, in a case where you have to do it, you treat it exactly like you do any other case. Madison County Assistant District Attorney Tim Gann says on top of prosecuting this case, his office will have lawyers going through cases Huddleston worked. He says if they find evidence that he's tainted a case, they'll throw it out. There's no way that we're going to prosecute someone that that has been falsely accused or the charges are not right or anything that's not on the up and up. We're not going to prosecute those cases. This morning, I went to the Madison County Courthouse to request Huddleston's personnel file, but I haven't received it to this point. A spokesperson with the sheriff's office tells me deputies learned evidence had been tampered with back in October, which led to an internal investigation. Huddleston was placed on administrative leave before his resignation and eventual arrest. Now, Huddleston is out on bond, but he'll have to return to court December 6th for a pretrial hearing. And when I do get his personnel file, I'll be sure to give you all the latest and most relevant information as it relates to his eight year tenure with the department. Reporting live in Huntsville, Daquan Lee, 48 on your side.